What was the idea of taking those jewels from her? You know, I don't rob women. Well, if you don't want to be in on the split, you don't have to. Come on, hand them over. What, you wouldn't trust a pal? Sure. But I'll just take care of them until we meet at my place. Say, how about that roll you got from Todd? We don't know how much was in that. Why should we trust you? Yeah. Because you'll have to, as long as I'm running this outfit. Come on. The kid's been running this show too much to suit himself lately. Yeah? Well, you better practice up on your draw before you give him any argument about it, Blackie. Come on. Let's get off this road. You want this express rider to see us waiting for him? Say, I don't like the idea of pulling another job without the kid being in on it. Yes. He's going to raise blazes when he finds out about it. Then stay out of it, then, if she's got your buffaloed. Oh, it ain't that, Blackie. Oh, come on.
o'clock, I'm going to be late with the mail for the first time. Don't you worry about the mail. I'll get it there on time. Do what you can for him till I send you a doctor. Wait a minute, kid. You're not taking that mail anywhere. Why not? The stage just come through here, robbed by the same gang that got him. What's that got to do with me? I ain't saying it's got anything to do with you, but I am saying you're not taking that mail. I wouldn't advise you to try and stop me. Five minutes late. It ain't usual for him to be a dot off schedule. I wouldn't worry about it, Mr. Beckworth. Oh, I do worry about it. He's always right here. It's not to worry anybody. Five minutes never has been on this before. this mean? Street road agents put a slug in your rider back at Clearwater Station. You better get a doctor to him in a hurry. What happened? Well, I was taking a shortcut to my cabin when I heard some shooting back in the road. I got to Clearwater just as your rider caved in. The three that did it took to the hills on the run. I'm obliged to you, Nick. It's a lucky thing that you happen to be around there. I'll go tell the sheriff. All right. who they were. How should I know? Well, I... It's the Countess. She's here. Aren't you excited? Oh, yes. Just about as much as I'll bet the Countess is. <laughs> Come on. I tell you, Jake, something's got to be done. Things have gone too far. I can't have them shooting up my express riders like that. Yeah, I know. Getting mighty bad. I'll do everything I can. Well, you got to, that's all. Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> Mademoiselle, on behalf of the citizens of Grass Valley, we feel honored to welcome you. And we hope that your visit among us may be long, pleasant, and prosperous. Hooray! Merci, monsieur. You are very kind. But I wish to heaven I never see this barbarous and civilized country of robbers and thieves. Bah! What all that about being robbed? I said robbed. There were four of them, sir. Caught up with us the other side of Clearwater Station. My purse and my diamonds. Priceless gifts from his Highness the Emperor. They took them all. Do you have any idea who they were? Couldn't recognize them under the mask. You are the sheriff? Yes. Then why don't you do something? Speak! I'll do everything I can, Colin. That's what you said before. Why don't you get busy? They got my role, too. Hey, Bill. Yes, Jake? Get a posse together, let's get out after them. All right. Uh, Silver, you'll bring the mademoiselle's baggage. See? I can't take this. This way, please. Say, that emperor friend of the Countess sure wasn't troubled with bad eyesight. How about taking in her show with me tonight? Why, yes. I'd like to. Oh, well, Gail. What's the matter? I was just thinking. Thinking about what? You know, there were four men who held up the stage. And only three who attacked the Pony Express. Well? Well, what do you suppose happened to that other man? How should I know? Nick, I'm not going to ask you things that 
that I wouldn't want to believe even if they were true. Only, you could make so much of yourself if you really wanted to. Well, now, what would you like to have me do? Well, why don't you let Mr. Beckworth give you a job? I know he'd rather have you ride Pony Express for him than anybody else on the line. And then, people would stop wondering about you. What business is it of theirs what I do? Well, don't you suppose I care? That it worries me? Worries you? Well, what do you care? I mean about me. Why, because I... Because what? Oh, nothing. Nothing. There you are, Blackie. Where's your split, Ed? Hank? Sheriff, there's yours. Wait a minute. What about the rest of Todd's role? Todd owes this to an old Mexican woman, and she happens to be a friend of mine. He foreclosed on her place because she couldn't pay him after her husband died. Well, now she can buy it back. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? Well, you'll have to. Well, what about the rest of the money? That's going to pay the hospital bills for that Pony Express rider that these boys shot up. I've warned you fellows before to be careful with your shooting irons. And maybe this will teach you a lesson. You're not going to get away with this. Shut up. I'll do the talking. What about these Montaigne jewels? Well, what about them? Well, I'll take my share right now. I'll take mine, too. Oh, no, you won't. He's going to stay right here with me until I decide what to do with him. Say, what gives you the idea that you can tell us what to do? This gives me a pretty good idea. Well, seeing there's no arguments, boys, I guess this meeting's adjourned. Come on. you think he's going to get away with running this show? Well, I reckon now is just as good a time as any to stop him. If that's the way you feel, Blackie. Yeah? All right. So long. Blackie? Well, here it is. Now you go on back to Jake and tell him that I said the next time you forget to use the front door, I'm going to kick you clear through the county seat. Now get out of here. Come in. Ah, uh, <laughs> Santa Maria, you were magnificent. And your music, she was terrible. Ah, that does not matter. Countess, you gave a remarkable performance. You were remarkable. You were magnificent. You must stay here a little longer. I have the house that you would like. You make Grass Valley very happy. You should stay. Besides, uh, uh, there is much money here. 
Sí. Bien. I stay. I am so happy. La Contes, uh, I have a message for you. Stu? Sí. The sheriff, he wants to see you. I am too tired. Oh, but La Contes, he begged to see you. He must see you. Maybe I get back my jewels. Sí, 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 sí. Send him in, but no one else. Sí, sí. Gracias, sí. Gracias. You don't kiss my hand. Why, I guess I ain't much on them foreign ways. You should try it sometime. You do very well for a beginner. But for a sherry? You do very badly. Huh? For why you don't find my jewels and the robbers who took them from me? What you call yourself? A no good for nothing? Why, Countess, I'm doing everything I can. Why, for you, uh, I, I don't know of a thing I wouldn't do. You like to be good friends from Lola. Oh, sure. You do favor for me? Just say the word. Unhook for me, my dress. Well? Oh, yes, sure. No, monsieur. I do not know you well enough for that. Oh, Lola. Sometime, perhaps. But not yet. Sometime? When you find for me my juice. Thank you, Nick, for taking me to the show. I really enjoyed it. I'm awfully glad you did, Gail. Say, you know that Lola Montaigne woman is in a class by herself, isn't she? Yes. I never expected to see anyone like her in Grass Valley. Well, I'd better run along. Won't you come in a moment? And have a cup of coffee? No, not tonight, Gail. Some other time, perhaps. Good night. Good night. How do you do? should go Pony Express. New York. That will be fifty dollars, Count. Hmm. Why don't you come see me sometime? Oh, if you're inviting me, I'd love to. Of course, surely. I think you're a charming. 
And Josephine, she thinks you're charming, too. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good day to you, Countess. Goodbye. Say, you ain't honestly going this in the Countess. Why not? Well, it ain't my business, but you know how the women folks in this town like to talk. I'm tired of the women in this town. Besides, I like her. No, maybe you know your own business. funeral are you all dressed up for? Never mind that. Those jewels of Lola Montaigne. I want them, kid. I'm going to turn them back to her. Oh, so that's why you're all dressed up like Mrs. Astor's horse, huh? You're going to see the Countess. Now, hand over those jewels, kid. Do I look feeble-minded? I mean it. How do you figure to get them? You wouldn't put a partner under arrest, would you? I don't have to. Now hand over those jewels. So you're on the level, huh? Plenty. All right. I'm glad you're getting so reformed, Jake. I was figuring on setting you an example. Oh, well, yeah? Well, thanks. So long. You for this. Might as well save your breath, Jake. You'll sure be needing it. I'm sure sorry you won't be seeing the Countess, but if she's expecting company, I'm not the one to disappoint her. Well. Oh, yeah, here they are. I'll just take these along with me to make sure if they get there. And I'm thinking the Countess will be mighty appreciative. Of course, she'll be terrible sorry that you were detained, but I'll do my best to make her forget her disappointment. Oh, are you... Uh-uh. Naughty, naughty. I won't forget this, kid. Not unless you have a mighty poor memory. Well, go along.
Everybody calls me the kid. Well, what is this evidence? Oh, I'm not here on uh, business. Then why are you here? Well, you see, I saw you dance the other night. And I just wanted to tell you that you were even better than I expected. Then you like Lola, huh? You can't blame me for that. No. Maybe I like you, too. that better? I think you do. You are very young, though, no? Oh, not too young to learn. Maybe we will be good friends then, huh? I'm sure we will, after you see what I brought you. You bring me all the presents. Yes, I know it. Where did you get them? Why, you gave them to me yourself. What? Well, of course, after a little persuasion. You, the bandit, with the mask? Are you crazy? You come here and tell me this? You want to go to jail? Get out of here, you bandit. expect to see you so soon, Jake. You see, Connors, the last time I saw him, he was tied up. You must have gotten away a lot sooner than you expected. Get out of here, kid, before Are I... Are you what? Where's your etiquette, Jake? Can't you see there's a lady here? If I were you, I'd excuse myself and come back some other time. You heard what I said? Get out! I opened this door for you. Do I have to help you through it? Why, you're not man enough. No? Go ahead, Jake. But I'll drop you before I hit the floor. Well, I don't know about that, Countess. You, you see, I haven't had much experience along those lines. But perhaps I... Let me. If that fellow's back for more... Why, Gail, what are you doing here? I'm afraid I came at the wrong time, Countess. I didn't know that you had company. 
<laughs> Not at all. Won't you come in? No, thank you. I won't stay. Some other time, perhaps. Wait a minute. What do you mean, some other time? What are you doing here in the first place? The Countess asked me to call on her. Oh, she did, eh? Well, is that any reason you had to come? Why shouldn't I? You know very well, what? I beg your pardon. Will you please explain? She has nothing in common with you. You're a lot older than she is, and she wouldn't interest you anyway. She seems to interest you very much. Well, that's my business. No, it isn't. Don't pay any attention to him, Countess. Now, you listen to me, Gail. You're not coming back here anymore. I'm not going to have people talking about you the way they, they talk about Lola Montaigne. Huh. She is too good to be friends with Lola, eh? Well, if you want to put it that way, yes. Please don't listen to him, Countess. What right have you to tell me what I'm going to do? Never mind that. You're getting out of here. I'll do nothing of the sort. Oh, yes, you will. Come on. Get out. And stay out. Now that you've done so well insulting the Countess. Hang the Countess. Come on, get up here. Will you please tell me what business my affairs are of yours? Well, if you're not sensible enough to know what's good for you... She's good enough for you. Well, you're not me. Well, what's it to you anyway, what I do? Why do you care? Well, because I do, that's why. Why, Nick. Oh, I know I haven't been acting much like I cared, Gail. But I never realized it till just now. After seeing you and her together and uh, the difference between you two... What a fool I've been. You're sweet, Nick. I'm not much good for anything, Gail. That's why I haven't the right to tell you what I want to tell you. Aren't you going to tell me? You bet I am. As soon as I take care of something, I have to do in town. Why? You... You keep still, too, will you? Why, you fool. Oh. If you'll just give me the chance, Mr. Beckler. Why, sure, kid. There's nobody I'd have more confidence in riding Pony Express for me than you. Gee, thanks. When do I start? If you're right on the dot. At three. You bet I will. All right, I'll see you before you go. That's great. All right. Are you glad? Of course. Aren't you? So much that I... I wish you would have told me a long time ago that I was in love with you. <laughs> You're silly. I don't want you to do this for me. I want you to do it for yourself, so I can be proud of you. Oh, I suppose I have a lot to live down, Gail, but... I'll do my best. Of course you will. But I tell you, he bring me back my jewels. He's the robber you look for. The bandit who hold up the stagecoach. Oh, yeah. I understand. Well, for what you wait? Why don't you go and arrest him? That's a mighty serious charge, Countess. So? Good. Perhaps you hang him, no? Where is he now? I don't know. I saw him go in the express office a while ago. Come on. You wait here, Countess. Delighted. You know, I'm going to be so busy riding saddle on this job that what chance am I going to have to see you? I'll be thinking of you, Nick. All the time you're away. Well, then you watch me make a record run coming back. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait a minute, kid. I want your gun. You're under arrest. What? What do you mean? Lola Montaigne swears that you led the gang that robbed the coach that day. Oh, she does, huh? Yes. Well, if she swears to that, I guess I'll have to go along with you. Nick! Oh, don't you worry, Gail. I'll be all right.
obliged to you. I thought you would be. I'm awfully sorry for what happened at my cabin today. But it won't happen again when you go. Well, I'll sure be there. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're going to get me out of here. Shh. Not so loud, kid. You're afraid if I do start talking, somebody else is going to hear me a lot louder. Well, you act like I wasn't your friend. You don't think I hold that little scrap against you. But you've got to give me time to figure this out. I can't just let you walk out of here. Well, you better think fast because you haven't much time. I aim to be out of here by 3 o'clock, and that gives you just about an hour. I'll figure a way out. Say, what happened to turn the counters to you? A lot of things have happened to me, Jake. But they're here inside. And you wouldn't understand if I told you. I haven't been much to be proud of. And I guess that's because there wasn't anyone to care. But things are different now. Oh, Gail Winters, huh? That's none of your business. Well, we'll sure miss you, kid. Me and the boys. I'm sorry I can't say the same for you. Nick! Nick! What are they going to do to you? Now you stop worrying. You'll pardon us, won't you, Jake? Oh, sure, sure. You see, Jake's my friend, and he'll get me out of here. But how can he? You just leave that to me. I'm going to ride Pony Express today, just like we planned. But Nick, I... I want you to meet me at Clearwater Station with a mail. And I'll be there right on schedule. But how can you be? You just trust me to be there. All right. I love you, Nick. And gee, how I love to hear you say it. Now, listen. I'll let him out at exactly 3 o'clock. You boys be spotted where you can't miss him. He'll have my gun, so be sure you get him the first time. I've been waiting too long for this, to miss the chance now. Well, the kid's never done nothing to get me down on him. But if you fellows figure that way... That's how we figure it. What do you want him to do? Put the noose around all of our necks if he tells what he knows? Hank's right. As soon as we get him out of the way, I'll fix it for Ed to get the Pony Express job. What else do we want? I'll see you in town. Come on, boys. All right, kid. Your horse is right around the corner. Good. Say, how are we going to make this look on the level? Oh, I'll have to tell him that you caught me off guard and licked me. That ought to be easy enough for him to believe. Oh, yeah. Right here, better snap these on me to make it look real. It's a pleasure, Jake. You can take my gun. I better take a look around and see if the coast is clear. Oh, you're safe enough. No one would dare draw on you while you're packing a gun. Maybe not. But just in case somebody does take a shot at me, I'll know that you double-crossed me. Oh, you're crazy, kid. Well, if I did that to you, I'd want to be shot. <laughs> yeah.
Well, what's the matter? I'm taking you along with me, just to make sure that everything is all right. And if it is, I'll turn you loose. Jake, you're not going anywhere. Come on, get up there and get on that horse. We got some unfinished business to attend to. What's all that excitement? That kid made his getaway through the window, took the sheriff with him, and it looked as if he had him all tied up. He did, huh? Yeah. But. Yeah. Take Buck there and get some of the boys and we'll go after him. All right. I go with you, sir? No, no. Have to be afraid, Miss. The sheriff and I are here on a little personal business. Now, will you please sit down and write what I tell you? But I don't understand. Hurry up. Come on. Now, take this down. Hey, what's you gonna write? Your last will and testament. Well, you got me wrong, kid. I wanted you to get away. Yeah. So you made sure of it by having some of the boys spotted to pick me off. You're a rat, Jake. You and the rest of them. And I'm ashamed of myself for ever being mixed up with you and your kind. Now take this down. I, Jake Sharp, being in my right mind, such as it is, do hereby tender my resignation as sheriff of this county. In the first place, I'm the biggest crook in Grass Valley. And in the second place, this sheriff's job is taking up 
too much time for my own personal business. Like the holdup of the stage a few days ago, in which I received $400 for my share. And Hank Morris, Ed Shefflin, and Blackie Walsh received the same. Now sign this. Why, you can shoot me first. All right, that suits me. Sure you a blow to him, Jake. Having you resign as sheriff of this county. Well, you ain't gonna turn me out with these on. It'd serve you right if I did, but I'm not like that. Now get out. I hope there's no hard feelings, Countess, but you've done me a great favor. And if I only had time to explain, you'd understand. Goodbye. Now I get going. Take this from his pocket? You naughty, naughty. You must not do that. Give me that paper. No. Give it to me, I'll tell you. Well, no, you can't have it. Give it to me. Come in. What happened, Jake? She's dead. The kid knifed her. I got here just as he made his getaway. You know, I had to hunch you coming back here to get her. That's the reason I brought, brought the boys along. Which way to head? Toward Clearwater Station. You take charge here, Bill. I'll take the boys and get after him. Let me have your gun. He got mine. I don't feel like playing. Hey, you're the busiest monkey I ever seen.
Well, didn't I tell you I'd get here on I'm time? I'm so glad. Here. Peggy's gone. What's the matter with you, Jake? Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. Well, I've got enough on you to... I'm arresting you, kid, for the murder of Lola Montaigne. What? Come on, Sheriff. Let's turn him up. Get in there, all. Wait, we're waiting for her. You're a liar, Jake. If she's dead, I'm thinking you know who did it. That's why I'm arresting you. I know you're a sheriff, Jake, but we're taking this out of your hands. We are stringing him up right now. Come on, boys. Nick. You'll have to stay out of this, miss. Well, boys, I see you've got me outnumbered. I reckon I can't stop you. You no. bet you can't stop him. Oh, well, come on, here. Why, he couldn't have done that. Jake, he couldn't have done that. We are going to string you up, but you're... Where's your lesson? There's the right here. 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 Listen, fellas. Let me wait I'll fix this rope. Hey, wait a minute. What's the matter, Bill? You don't want him. After what I learned at the Countess House, I reckon there's your man. What? Give it to him. Come on, boys, get your horses. Let's get after that sheriff. Come on, there. Watch out. What's the matter? What happened, boys? Yeah. Sorry, I'm kidding. I'll take the mail over to Nick. Right, Nick. hit a chuck hole and Jake went over the cliff. Well, I guess that finishes that. I don't know how Jake happened to make this confession about that. You don't mean to say that Jake done that too. That's right, boys. He was the ringleader. He must have hid this in the cabin after he killed her. Well, can you beat that? But your name is not mentioned in this confession, kid. So I reckon the Countess must have been mistaken about you. Thanks, Bill. But there's three fellas' names in here that Jake mentioned that we're going after. Good luck, kid. Everything's all right, honey. The boys just made a little mistake, that's all. I knew they were wrong. Nick, if you hurry, you can still get through with the mail on schedule. Oh, yeah. You know, Gail, three days is going to seem like three years till I see you again. Well, then, uh, maybe you'd better make this last till you come back. Well, I guess I better go now. <laughs> 